Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can change your studio backgrounds and create very stunning images at the end of the day. So we have some backgrounds we're going to be working with. So let's quickly get started. I'm going to be picking up my crop tool then I'm going to be cropping this image with 8x10. Yeah, so I'll have a very good image to start from. Then I'll turn on my content aware to make sure these borders get filled up. And once they have filled, I'm going to make a selection of my object, go to select subject. So once the selection is made, I'll right click, go to select inverse. So I have my background selected at this moment. I'll make a duplicate of this. Right click again and go to layer via cut. So we'll have our image on a separate background and our background on a separate image. So the first thing we need to do now is to make sure we blur out this background. So I just moved my object layer to the top and my background to the middle. So I'm going to hold my control and reload this selection just like that. Then go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. This is very important. So have a very smooth background. Don't worry, don't bother about the shadows. We will get them right back. So let's quickly bring in the background we're going to be using. So this is the background we're going to be placing over our object to make it look realistic. We are going to place our anchor point right here on her neck. Then we are going to scale it in. Of course, this is too much. We just need to bring it down. Now, depending on the view you are looking for, if you want it appearing like it's far, you could just, you know, send it back. If you want it a bit closer, you could pull it in. So I want her shoulder right inside that wall. Act. Okay, so we'll press OK. We'll have our background on important, but the only issue now is that our object is not looking realistic and our background is not blending. It looks like she's hanging. So, what do we do? Just change the blend mode of the background to overlay or even soft light or even multiply, depending on the one that gives you the look you are looking for. So, I'm going to be working with overlay. Then I can quickly go to my curves and just reduce the highlights. Can even clip it to the overlay and just reduce the highlight like this. So the reason I did this is so that we can also bring it down and notice that some part of it is very bright, especially with this side, which I understand because of the direction of the lightning. So now we have our background uh, blend option changed to overlay, but we still do not have the shadow. So what do we do? We restore it back. Look at that. So we do before and after of this layer which is our original background to see exactly where the shadows are falling. So we'll have the shadows here. We'll have the shadows here. So I'm going to actually use it like this because, all right, so I'm going to paint it in because I've just noticed something. The moment I turn it off, this whole area has turned to white. The moment I turn it off, it has contrast. So I'm going to just create a mask for it, pick up my brush and restore the shadows in the places I want it restored. By this, so we'll do before and after to see the rest. Look at this one over here, do the before and after, and we are good to go. This is how you change your image. So, with this technique, now you can even change this background to any other thing and it will still look very much realistic. Let me show you. So, I'll turn it off, stay here, get another background. So this is another background I will just import it. Let me show you. If I scale it in, maybe position her here or even here. But let me position her here. And I'm going to still scale in. Very good. This is too much already. All right. So the moment you do this, change the blend mode to overlay. And boom, it still fits in because why? We have already restored the Charlie. So let me use this opportunity to tell you that we have over 350 to 400 hyper-realistic backgrounds, close to 500 of hyper-realistic backgrounds that you can get just for a token. If you want to get access to it, all you need to do is just to go to the uh, description of the video, click on our WhatsApp community link, chat us up and tell us you need the background we're going to tell you how to go about it so without wasting much of your time this is 
what we've done. This is the first background we used. And this is the second one we use. I think I'm routing for this one the more. So this is the original image. This is the after. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you do subscribe, click on the notification bell to turn on the notification so that every single time we drop a new video, you will get to be informed. One more time, thank you. See you on the next one.